Ha! I got a pineapple on my head. We're gonna make some uh, pineapple syrup today. Um, the weather's really nice outside today. One of the first ones we've had, it's been like pissing rain day after day after day. The sun is shining today, so I'm all happy. And I thought, oh, let's make a pineapple syrup. Um, do you know how to find, when you're in the grocery store, how to find a ripe one? Like it's really, really hard. You, you pick them up, smell the bottom. If they smell nice and sweet and like pineapple, you know it's ripe. All right, let's begin. Uh, just get rid of this top here, rip that right off. And uh, we're gonna cut, there we go. We're just gonna cut this outer piece off here. You know what I like about this recipe is it's a no cook pineapple syrup. So that's kind of cool. Well, that looks pretty good. All right, let's get rid of this. And we're just gonna, hang on, there we go. That's pretty good actually. All right, we're gonna cut some cubes here. All right, just some small cubes, medium size kind of idea. Throw them in the bowl. Throw them in the bowl. Ha, ha. Yeah, we're cutting her all up, the whole pineapple. It wasn't that huge of a pineapple. All right, so where it is in our bowl here, let's get rid of this. It's amazing when the sun is shining how happy you get, you know? Okay, to this pineapple, I'm gonna add a uh, lemon um, rind from one whole lemon. It's not a huge lemon, uh, but what the lemon is gonna do, it's going to balance out the natural sweetness of the pineapple. Beauty. Okay, and now we're gonna add some sugar. Uh, you could use a white sugar. Uh, by using white sugar, you'd end up uh, maybe with a more a lighter and a brighter tasting pineapple syrup. I'm using a, um, uh, a cane sugar. Uh, it's a little more coarse, but it's still fine enough to work. If your sugar is like super coarse, you might want to grind it up a bit so that it eventually dissolves, okay? So then what you want to do is just stir all this together. No water at it, nothing like that, right? So it's kind of neat. Actually, you can see the, you can see the sugar is starting to kind of melt out here. Yeah, I mean, the sugar is dissolving from all the acid from the, the pineapple and, and I'm actually getting some syrup already. Look at this, look at this. This is neat, this is neat, look at that. Anyway, this is all blend together, good enough for our purposes. And what we want to do is just grab some plastic wrap and uh, wrap her up nice and tight. And just leave it on your counter. Um, and every hour, I don't know, about every hour, you want to lift it up, get in there with your spoon again, and mix it up. You want to do this for maybe, I don't know, four hours or so. Or I guess, I, I guess another approach too, you could, you know, as you're walking by, just shake it up. <laughs> That's a cocktail. Shake it up. Okay. So then what you do is you want to leave it like for 24 hours. Uh, you know, pop it in your fridge when you go to bed, that kind of thing. Get up in the morning and you can taste along the way to see how sweet it's becoming. Okay. I'm gonna pop this in my fridge and uh, I'll see you in 24 hours. Well, not really. A clock wipe. Look at that, 24 hours later. And look at all this juice that it extracted. Oh my God, look at this, it's beautiful. Look at, look at. That was just from sitting, just from sitting. Beauty. Looks like it shrunk too a bit. Neat. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I need to taste one to see how uh, sweet sweet is. Mm. 
that's not sweet at all. Which is really, really surprising because we used a cup of sugar. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna plug in our blender. Now if you don't have a blender, I think this should probably finish chewing, shouldn't I? <laughs> if you don't have a blender, you could just use like a potato masher. Just, just mash these things down, right? But blender, a lot more efficient. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to uh, just put everything in the blender. Hmm, that's not sweet at all. That's amazing. Perfect. Oh yeah. We're just gonna pulse this a bit. Actually, how about a low? <laughs> My blender's on its last legs too. There we go. So I just made uh, a simple syrup and it's still warm actually, which is uh, nice. Uh, I'm gonna add like a half a cup. And this simple syrup was a two to one ratio, uh, two part sugar, one part uh, water. So uh, I've got a half a cup here. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's new. It's my first day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and what we're going to do now, we're just going to strain this out. And just take a minute. Drippity drippity drip. It's really, really fresh tasting. That's what I like about it. And we'll just give it a little helping hand along the way here. Look at that gold. Wonderful color, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Now, pineapples are delicious. They really are. And they are really good for you. <laughs> so it's a bonus. The first thing is, it's an excellent way to get more fiber into your diet. One cup of pineapple contains two grams of fiber. They've got vitamins and minerals too. One cup of pineapple provides 132% of the recommended daily intake for vitamin C and 76% of manganese. Pineapples also contain copper and folate. That's a B9. Diets high in yellow vegetables and fruits like pineapples can reduce the risk of colon cancer. Pineapples with their high amounts of vitamins and minerals, especially vitamin B6, can help reduce nausea. You can even use pineapple juice to tenderize your meat. Okay, we're pretty much there. I got, uh, I got a little over two cups, which is nice. What to do with all this pulp? Um, you could discard it, of course you could. You could uh, put it over ice cream. That'd be kind of good. <laughs> um, you could put it in your smoothie and that would be excellent too, right? And that's probably what I'll do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, don't you love the color of this? This is beautiful. And it's not overly thick, but I think it will thicken up a little bit in the uh, refrigerator. This is really workable for sure. And you know, if you did want a thicker syrup, you could put this on your stove, reduce it a little bit, reduce to half, and that's definitely gonna thicken up. But I don't think we need it personally. Okay, let's bottle it. And you know, I'm gonna strain it again, why not? Um, just in case we missed any. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Again, patience is a virtue. Yeah, I think we're pretty much there. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, add a little bit of vodka. Do, 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 where's my vodka? Ah! 
That's right here. It's my first day. <laughs> when I screw up at work, I'm always saying that, right? <clears throat> it's my first day. <laughs> Nobody believes me. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Look at that. Look at that. It's gold, pineapple gold. And there we have our pineapple gold. And you know, by adding that vodka, you're gonna get at least a month out of it in the fridge, maybe longer, who knows? But, uh, man. <laughs> let's give it a try. Uh, and I think that double straining helped it quite a bit. Oh yeah, it's thickening up already. It is. Thickening up already. Mm. Mm. Wow, that is so fresh, so alive. Clean and fresh pineapple syrup. Make some, make some right now. <laughs> Till next time. Actually, uh, in the very near future, we're gonna make a cocktail using this wonderful syrup. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll be supporting us. How wonderful would that be? Thank you.